Taurus. So at the beginning of the day, we talked about how uh, what this month feels like um, mm -hmm. and what's the essence of this month with everything growing and and coming into bloom and just sort of relentless growth mm -hmm. and um, and how that relates to Taurus, the zodiac. We started with um, some exercises and mm -hmm. singing mm -hmm. together. That's right. Um, so we did some opening, uh, mm -hmm. opening exercises. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea being, uh, as far as I understood, to open, well, both to shake off what we were carrying and intentions, and, mm -hmm. uh, and then to open ourselves to, um, well, to this, to what was going on that day. Mm -hmm. um, we did a, a a leaf sequence, I think. She gave us um, she gave us leaves in an envelope that had been um, that were out of order, mm -hmm. and asked us to, to put them back together in in the order in terms of where they'd grown, and, you know, which was the the oldest leaf or the first to to grow, and which was like the most recent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and so just to place them out like that. Um, and then to feel when we felt like like that sequence was correct. Yeah. Um, and it was quite interesting. There was a real when when you did get have it in the right order, it just it did feel like it had a real natural flow to it. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed quite obvious, um, although it takes a little while to, to figure it out. Mm. Um, so she took us through this process of exact sensorial perception, and then. Um, which is a process of exactly observing every detail um, of the phenomenon you're studying through the senses, and then exact sensorial imagination, um, which is the next step once um, once you've explored the plant um, in detail, then uh, we go into this process of trying to see its development, see seeing into its growth. Uh, which is fusing, I think, in a sense, fusing the imagination and, and uh, an exact perception. We read a little bit of um, Nature's Open Secret by Rudolf Steiner, which is about Goethe uh -huh. and his work. So it's very dense, and so that's why reading it together was quite an interesting approach, because it really allowed us to, to go very slowly and to discuss um, uh, each sort of paragraph almost, and that because it requires that. No, it's easy to read on and just get lost in it, but yeah, it was nice to take that slow approach and really um, sit with the with the text. Mm. Uh, um, so Margaret asked us, uh, each of us to tell uh, what our quest is that we are on. Yeah. Um, so what our question is. Mm -hmm. uh, so we had um, a conversation about what brought us here, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, Mm, what brought us to, to do the, the masters that we're doing right now mm -hmm. and and then to do um, to do this course that theme that, that we're doing at these dissertations and we both came to get more grounding um, so we discussed our dissertations in quite a bit of detail um, and Margaret gave us some some suggestions in that area and yeah just continued to really focus in on um, on Goethean, the, the practice of Goethean science and um, and particularly where we where we had questions, I guess. So we finished the day with some physical work, uh, sort of shifting dung, uh, mm -hmm. to feel in our bodies how um, the spirit of this month, which is sort of earthy, doing. Just doing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taurus is, yeah, just a, yeah, that. Le less thinking and more just physical doing. Mm. I enjoyed this uh, integrating of having time with Margaret, her teaching us things and and uh, uh, having a lot of uh, opportunity to ask questions and not feeling at all like it was just a delivery. And, and then integrating the exercises and um, even the singing together, I, I was I enjoyed it. It was a different way mm. um, of coming together. S said before, I think 
that really sums it up for me to come to a place that um, that teaches something but that um, that also practices it and that, that the, the teaching is really based within the doing of the process that, that's being taught. Um, I think that's really unique. Yeah. Number one, visit a place that has, has been um, intentionally um, built with those, with that um, philosophy in mind, then, I mean, I certainly don't know of anywhere um, better than, than Pishwantan. Um, Soaking up everything. Um, it was an amazing mood, wasn't it? I remember both yeah. of us were very excited before we found Margaret and we were just looking around this magical place. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>